And so we're going to assume that it's air and circulating there. And now we're going to work our way through the cycle. Uh, so we have P2 is equal to T1 times R sub P to the K minus 1 over K. And that's equal to 579.6 degrees K. P3 is equal to P2. T3 is equal to 1350 K. T4 is equal to T3 times 1 over R sub P to the K minus 1 over K. So that's equal to 698.8 degrees K. And here K is equal to 1.4. WC is equal, WT rather, is equal to H3 minus H4, is equal to C sub P, T3 minus T4, is equal to 654.3 kilojoules per kilogram. WC is equal to H2 minus H1. C sub P, T2 minus T1. So that's equal to 280.9. And we know it's minus because it's work, go it's work going in. So W net is equal to 373.4 kilojoules per kilogram. And we can find the heat in. So the heat in from 2 to 3, H3 minus H2, C to P, T3 minus T2, is equal to 774 kilojoules per kilogram. We can do that. And the thermal efficiency is W net over Q in is equal to 0 0.482. Because this is an air standard Brayton cycle, we could have also used that the thermal efficiency is equal to 1 minus 1 over R sub P to the K minus 1 over K. And if you do that, you get 0 0.482 also. Obviously, the thermal efficiency should not change based on how you do the calculations. However, when we use efficiencies, so now when I use efficiencies, I can no longer use this. This depended on it being a symmetric cycle with isentropic relationships. When I introduce the efficiencies, we can't do that. And so with the efficiencies, So you have this, you have this in your, in an earlier, in your notes and in an earlier video. And so now what we're going to do is do this cycle analysis and find the efficiencies and look at the change of the compressor work, of the turbine work, of the heat in, of the efficiency and all that sort of stuff. And so that's what we're going to do next. So we have these values and now we're going to do it for the actual case with efficiencies. And we'll see the effect of the efficiencies of dramatically decreasing performance. So we'll see the effect of that. So 0 0.85, if I look at it for the compressor, T2 minus T1 over T2 prime minus T1. And so I have T2 prime from this. If you substitute in and do it, 628.9 degrees K. If I do it for the turbine, 0 0.85 is equal to T3 minus T4 prime over T3 minus T4. We have that T4 prime 
is equal to 796.5 degrees K. And WC prime is equal to C sub P times T2 prime minus T1. So that's equal to minus 330.4 kilojoules per kilogram. WT prime, C sub P times T3 minus T4 prime is equal to 556.1. And W net is equal to WT minus WC is equal to 225.7 kilojoules per kilogram. So we can look at that and then the heat in is H3 minus H2 prime is equal to C sub P T3 minus T2 prime. So QN is equal to 724.5 kilojoules per kilogram. And the thermal efficiency is W net over QN is equal to 0.31. 31.1%. And so now if we compare this with the ideal cycle, so if we now, I did this quickly, you can put in the numbers and substitute in and check on my math if you want. And so I did this quickly, and now the change of the compressor work is 49.5 over 280.9 is equal to 17.6% increase. So we see the compressor work increased 17.5%. The turbine work is going to decrease 98, the delta 98 over 654.3 is equal to a 15% decrease delta, the change of the heat in is 49.5 over 774 is a 6.4% decrease there was less heat in because I only have to add heat from two prime to three rather than from two to three. So I have to, there's less heat that they have to put in. And the thermal efficiency, it's a double whammy because W net drops significantly. So the thermal efficiency, 0.171 over 0.482. So initially, the thermal efficiency was 48.2%, now it's 31.1%, so that's a big drop. So this is a 35.5% decrease. And so the effect of the efficiencies drives down the system performance, which is why in, this, in the compressor and turbine design, they're trying to increase the efficiencies and right now I believe for gas turbines they're in the low 90 percent and I'm not quite sure what the compressor efficiencies are probably a couple percentages less for homework 14.1 14 14.5 14 14.11 14 and 14.9 because I went back and figured that out and now so this was, we looked at the Brayton cycle for a closed system, and now let's look at the open system gas turbine, and we'll analyze that. <coughs>